do you think guys? You can see how I've finished off the control panel. I've actually used a Neo Geo overlay um, that, that I had spare. So I thought let me use it. I've also changed the buttons. I had the one player and the queen up button here at the bottom. I've gone and changed that. So here's the one player and the two player on that side. Added a little bit of artwork on the side there with the uh, plexiglass screen. And if I move along here to the side, I haven't done anything further with the side art. But I just added the... That's where you can coin up the game. And then obviously hit the one player. And we go into game. And we're into game. Otherwise I think it's looking pretty nice. I might still add a little bit of artwork on the sides. But I'm happy with this at the moment. I've ordered a set of one and two player buttons to put in there. And to replace some of these old buttons. Because these are all old buttons that I had. But otherwise the machine is looking pretty good. And I must say I do prefer, I'm glad I took those buttons away at the bottom and added them on there. And uh, another reason that I've gone in with this sort of design is that if I do swap boards on the inside, this can then be, I can change this button and this button and put another one of these in there so I can play a three play, a, a game that has, you know, three buttons and then I can always drill another hole there and there and make that one and two player. So this gives me ability to to change things up as I want to. So yes guys, that's my Sky Soldiers arcade build. So let's go into a quick gameplay. I'll just set up the camera quickly and uh, show you what this game is like. Okay, Sky Soldiers. You can see it's going through its hardware tests. Let's load it up. Coin it up. I've just got a button that I've added on there. One player. And let's get into game. Start off with the homing. You can go to different power ups. I'll start with the normal default homing. And 1945 is the stage. So this also is very similar to Time Pilot. It runs through the ages. And you can see there, just using my homing missiles to take on the, the guys that come from behind. Now my sound might come and go guys, I still haven't fixed it 100% yet. But I'm getting there. That was close. Okay, on to the boss. First boss. Just unload all my missiles into him. Should get him, nearly. Damn it. Got him! And we should be on to the next stage. Destroy the bus. Still got two ships left. And I'm going to stick with the homing missiles. Nineteen forty-five. Let's get going. Now this stage gets a bit more difficult. Those orange bullets are not so easy to see. Ah. 
weapons getting updated. That was close. You know, it's always great to be able to play these old shooters on the original hardware. And updated my weapon system again. And up against the boss. Why did I fly into him? It was so close. Just have to hit that last. Come on. I don't have any more missiles. Got him. And I'm on to the next stage. Homing missiles done. Let's go with. Oh, I'm going to stick with the homing missiles. So, AD 1915. So, moving on. Actually, looks like I'm going backwards in time. And they dive bombing me. And I don't have any missiles left. And like all good shooters, it gets really difficult. Right, and I'm on to the final boss. And guess what? I ain't got no missiles left. Ah, oh, there goes my sound. Unfortunately, guys, I haven't managed to figure out what the sound problem is. And it seems to come and go at random. Should be fine as it gets warmed up. to hit that. Ah, oh, just a pity that the sound is gone. So I'm going to keep working on that, but otherwise guys, as you can see, great shooter. I have played it all the way through using continues and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. So, you know, load up your MAME and uh, give it a go. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed that and uh, keep it retro and cheers from me.